Well, let me, uh, let me begin by introducing myself. Uh, I'm Bill Galston, a senior fellow in governance studies here at the Brookings Institution. Uh, and on behalf of Brookings uh, and the Heritage Foundation, who are jointly hosting this event, uh, I want to welcome you uh, to what I think will be, what I know will be a deeply informed and suspect strongly will be spirited uh, discussion of a newly released report uh, entitled Second Chances, a Proposal to Reduce Unnecessary Divorce. Uh, those of you who are bright and early in the morning readers of the Washington Post will have noticed running down the left-hand column of the op-ed page uh, uh, an op-ed by uh, the two authors of the report, Bill Doherty and, and Leah Sears, laying out some of the basics. And this will give us an opportunity to go well beneath the surface and to explore the issues in considerable detail. The decision to get married, the decision to have children, the decision to terminate a marriage are among the most intimate, personal, and consequential decisions that human beings can make. But they also take place within a dense framework of law. And it is that tense relationship between the intimate and personal on the one hand and the public on the other uh, that generates the extraordinary issues and, and difficulties uh, that are laid out in this report and that we'll be discussing this morning. Uh, these are issues that ask us to consider not only uh, our good intentions, assuming that they are good, uh, but also the consequences of those intentions, unintended as well as. intended. Uh, for the connoisseurs of this issue, uh, I invite you to read uh, the signing statement of the nation's first no-fault divorce law. It took place in California. Uh, a governor, a divorced man himself, by the name of Ronald Reagan. And uh, you know, it is very interesting to look at that signing statement and to see what worked out as, as expected and what did not. Uh, the, topic of, the topic of the discussion this morning uh, is an effort to rethink some of the issues that we've taken for granted now uh, for more than 40 years and to offer you know, a modest but uh, quite possibly consequential uh, emendation of long-held tenets of American family law. And to help us go through these reflections, uh, he said, uh, we have an all-star cast, uh, starting with the two authors, uh, Bill Doherty is a professor in the College of Education and Human Development at the University of Minnesota and past president of the National Council on Family Relations. Uh, I give brief introductions. You have the full bios in your packets to see the full record of the distinguished careers of everybody on the podium. Uh, 
Leah Ward Sears was the youngest woman and first, youngest person and first woman to serve as a Superior Court judge in Fulton County, Georgia. Uh, when she was appointed to the Supreme Court of Georgia, she became the first woman and youngest person ever to serve on that court. And in July of 2005, she became the first woman to serve as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Georgia. Uh, she retired from that position in 2009. In addition to being a distinguished attorney in private practice, she has been very, very active on family law issues. She was a visiting professor in contemporary issues and family law at the University of Georgia Law School and is now the William Thomas Sears Distinguished Fellow in Family Law at the Institute for American Values. Uh, you know, to my immediate right is uh, Robert Rector, uh, who's a Heritage Foundation Senior Research Fellows at Heritage. He concentrates on a wide range of issues relating to welfare reform, family breakdown, and various American social ills and pathologies. Uh, he has written very widely on these issues, has testified more times than I can count before Congress, uh, and is one of the most recognized uh, voices on these issues in your nation's capital. And to Robert's right uh, is Theodora Ooms. Uh, she is now serving as a senior consultant to the National Healthy Marriage Resource Center. Uh, she spent eight years as a senior policy analyst at the Center for Law and Social Policy, where she worked on couples and marriage policy. Uh, she has edited two books herself and authorized numerous and authored numerous numerous publications. Uh, Many of you have probably participated in the long series of, uh, you know, of so-called you know, family policy seminars that the you know that uh, uh, that the family uh, family impact seminar uh, put on over a period of many many years, and Theodore, as well, is one of the most widely uh, recognized, respected voices on these issues in. Washington, D.C. Uh, as to the format of this event, it's simplicity itself. Each of the, each of the two, uh, both of the two report writers, uh, starting with Bill Doherty, will have 10 minutes each to present different aspects of the report. Uh, the two commentators will have between seven and 10 minutes to present their reflections on the report. Uh, at my discretion, I may uh, provoke some crosstalk in the panel, although I suspect my provocation may not be necessary. Uh, after which time, uh, after which time, there'll be plenty of time available uh, for for questions uh, from all of you. So, without further ado, Bill Doherty. <laughs> 